Hey, hey guys, let's do some crack cocaine today. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> jokes on you. These are just bad salts. Haha, <laughs> jokes on me. I can still uh, die from this. Okay. Today we'll be looking at Gakuen Handsome. Gakuen is the name of the old boys school that they go to, and they are pretty handsome. I'm looking at it, and the main character doesn't have eyes. And the background... The backgrounds don't have backgrounds. Overall, it's just very low quality. Why would anybody even continue after this eye cancer? Yes, you are right. If the story is good, then fuck the visuals. There is still chance. But to get a better overlook of the story, first of all, we have to look at the structure of the anime. Gaku and Handsome is an episodic show, which means that every episode is different and not reliant on previous episodes, so it's easier for newbies to get into it. You know, just to sit down randomly and watch the crap that's on TV without needing any prior information, which works well for comedies, helping the mage much better and aiding with the re-airing, but this still needs substance to drive people into watching more. The real question is, can we get enough substance that we want to watch more from a single episode? Like with cocaine, one hit is just enough to make you want more. Die. The premise is around some guys in an all-out boys school just doing their thing, but the stories that they live through are pretty basic. For example, having a sports day, becoming idols, falling in love with each other, a rich guy working a normal job, you know, the usual. This is exactly what you shouldn't do with an anime as short as this. It introduces more characters in the first two episodes than Space Patrol Luluko and Plastic Nissan had in their cast combined. And with that many characters all together, you won't be able to introduce them properly, make them memorable, interesting for the viewers. Plastic Nissan barely did it too, but their characters were charming. Here, they are mostly annoying. Not really much to say about the character dynamics themselves. It's like a harem, but instead of a guy being surrounded by a lot of girls, he is just surrounded by other guys. <laughs> Kill me. Now, truth be told, it isn't all that bad. I expected around halfway mark that I wouldn't laugh even once while watching this anime. That it was 100% garbage. But in the 10th episode, there was this one moment that made me furiously exhale through my nose. Like you do when you see an okay meme on the internet. It's not that funny, but it still gets the juices flowing. But maybe I'm just not seeing the bigger picture here. Is it this bad for a reason? Now the main character is an eyeless person. Wait... Without eyes? But that can't mean... Or can it? When a character has their eyes closed in an anime, that represents wisdom, keenness, experience. But underneath shows a force not to be reckoned with. But he doesn't have eyes at all. So he has transcended the natural bounds of anime, acting as the perfect representation for the viewer. Which is also depicted by his natural demeanor and uncaringness and willingness to go along with everything. In the episode where they change shapes, it's all just a metaphor to being who you want to be and shouldn't want to change yourself for others. Love yourself. Or in the episode where they fall in love with each other and have to find each other before the time is up and they are separated forever. That is a clear ripoff of any other romance anime. It actually means to paradise them. Paradise. Satire. <laughs> this is just satire. It's a meme. It's a parody of Yaoi. Generic school anime. The bland shit that you see everywhere. My eyes have been opened. It's still shit though. What do you think parody even means? If you make a parody of a boring high school anime, but are a boring high school anime yourself, then you haven't achieved anything. Parodies work because they introduce comedy and make fun of those tropes in an exaggerated manner, not just redo them. Sure, they are exaggerated here too, but they just aren't funny. Most jokes seem out of place, boring or tacky. It lacks the intelligence to make it funny. It's like watching Scary Movie 5. Yeah, it's a parody and such, but it's still shit that is filled with memes and unfunny jokes with unlikable characters. I don't understand mal viewers at all. They even say that the characters are shit, that the story is bad, that the animation is awful, and that's why they love it and give it a 10 out of 10. 
A 10 out of 10. A perfect score. Some have said that art is intentional as shit, but shit is still shit. If I were to take a dump on the floor right now, would you say that it's modern art or poop? All that being said, it still gets one cue from me. Because it's quickly over. With only 3 minutes per episode and 12 episodes in total, skipping the opening and the ending, it's just 24 minutes long, so you don't have to force yourself that much. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.